If the object library window is not already open in the CAD, you can open it from the View, then Windows menu in the title bar. If the computer you are working on has an internet connection, the object library will be retrieved from a Lumerical server, and this will show the most up-to-date version of the library. If you are working offline, the tool will retrieve the library from a local copy which is in the installation directory. You can tell whether you are using the online version or local library from the status in the bottom right corner of the object library window. The object library contains pre-built structures and analysis groups. I can search for a particular object using the keyword search bar on the top right. Otherwise, to see the list of analysis groups, select Analysis from the Type drop-down menu. The objects are further characterized by the type of analysis performed. For example, I can expand the optical power category and find all of the objects that are available to measure power absorption and scattering and power flow. By selecting one of the objects in the list, I can see the details about the object, including the script ID, which is the name of the object that I can use if I want to add the object from the script environment, a brief description of what the analysis group measures and calculates, and a link to more information about it in the online knowledge base documentation. Add the selected object by clicking the Insert button. Once the object has been added, it can be edited like any other analysis group. To find more information about the user properties of the setup, Click on the Setup Script tab to read the documentation in the comments at the top of the setup script. The settings for this particular object are simple and only include the X, Y, and Z span of the box of monitors. In the Variables tab, the results that will be returned by the analysis group are listed. In the Script tab, there is more documentation describing the calculations performed and the definitions of any input parameters and results in the comments at the top of the script. Making use of the object library can save time compared to setting up and writing the analysis script from scratch.